Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and I'm back with an opening. Um, this isn't, I made a video earlier uh, of a box that we bought on eBay that had some cards like this in it, but it's not from that box. And uh, when I open that opening up, I am going to give a shout out to the to eBay seller because they do good business. So, some of you emailed me earlier and was asking me what the cards, the pink cards look like. Um, what these packs look like. So we're gonna do a quick rip here and uh, see what they tell their store. You got three, three pulsars in there. Okay, the three pulsars in there. Let me get an autograph and I wear gloves because um, these are shiny cards. See, they are shiny cards. They're, this isn't a prism, but they're just the way they are. And then I have two of them, a little variation. And, I've got more than that, but uh, then we've been opening them up to try to put our set together. So we're doing pretty good. This is the special pack. Uh, the basketball had pink ones, the pink pack, the clear pack. The packs were clear, and you can actually see what cards are them. <laughs> and I did a video on that because people were selling packs to customers and people that I know and friends that I know and my family members and stuff. And um, they already know what's in them. So. You get two packs, you get three packs, three, and then two six pack, uh, two, two packs here. So the cards that we're gonna need for our set, definitely. Well, everything's gonna get penny sleeve, but in the back, if it's a prism, it'll say that. Then that'll be a, a silver prism, or just a prism, and then a G. So the ones we're gonna put them like that. CT card, Eli, Eli Manning, a very good player. These are just base cards. We got our first green one. It's Mitchell. He's a good running back. That's a green one. That's cool. Everything's going to get a paint sleeve. And we have a really nice insert here. That is not a prism, but it is Dick Buckus. And we do need Dick Buckus for our old school set. So that's cool. As you see, I'm just placing it aside. And we got a nice hit. Chandler Hurst. It's a debut card. It's very nice. Very nice. It's a rookie card. And since this is uh, the one, the best one we have so far, I'm just going to go ahead and, and put that in a penny sleeve. So you do get good cards out of these pack, out of um, the packs. And that's kind of how they do this. They kind of do this when you're putting sets together. Is they'll have they'll put their different cards in different products. You'll have cards in blaster boxes, you'll have cards in hanger boxes, you'll have cards in the mega and the mini megas, everything like that. So it's hard it's hard to get the cards sometimes that you need for the set unless you go and buy a variety of different things to get those cards. So we got six more of these. Oh nice. That is not a prism, but it is number seven, and I know we need that one for sure. Oh Roger Staubach. We definitely need Roger Staubach. That's not a prism either. That's a good one. Even though I'm a Steeler fan. And Howie Long. Howie Long's up in that series. Nice, nice, nice. So, there are prism. And then we got McNabb. Are you serious? They got a nice little throwbacks in this series with the old timers and new timers. And then Touchdown Masters, which is a really nice card. That is not a prism. It's just a standard one. Let's get it going in our set. McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey, he's one of the best running backs in the NFL, and he did really well today. So that's going to go over there with our inserts. Everything will get penny sleeved. And this is really nice. It's not an insert, but Jonathan Taylor had a pretty decent day today. And with Michael Pittman, I think they're really going to have a good running team. Uh, in my opinion, I think Phil Rivers is trash. If you want a quarterback that can throw for 6,000 yards, 5,000 yards, and not get you anywhere in the playoffs or even win games, that's the your guy. So this is our special pack. All these should be pink. Or, or maybe they do a variation, but they say three pink ones. So we know for sure. And this is our good one, Herman Moore. For those people that remember Herman Moore, he was a beast back in his time. Uh, one of the best receivers. I enjoyed watching him play. 
and then we have McCartney. I might make a set of these. I have a lot of pink ones. I'd like to make a whole binder of just that variation, but it would be kind of expensive. Oh my goodness, Jalen Hurst again. And this is a pink Pulsar, Jalen Hurst rookie card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Nice. So, those who were asking about if there's anything in the packs, we just pulled out two Jalen Hurst. And uh, this, these two cards right here are probably around, this is probably around $40. And that's probably around $30. So they're around $70. And that's not a prism. If they were, if this was a prism, there people are just uh, asking astronomical prices. And like, Sean, why is this stuff uh, so expensive and so cheap? Well, what these people are doing is, is very clever. Uh, they get mass boxes of this stuff. And they... They already got their cards. So the cards that they're getting right now are going to be, they'll pull them out the first round. They'll pull all the good cards out, penny sleeve them, send them into their criminal buddies at PSA so they can grade them. And outland, and then you can price them out, put outlandish prices on them. That's how they roll. And make it to where little kids can't uh, can't um, collect and uh, you know put a set together. Because that's how they do business. And what they do, at first... They'll be real cheap. The people will be selling for two, three dollars. Like, how can you sell them for that much money? That little bit of money when it costs this much money for a pack. Well, as I'm trying to explain to people, they're getting you to sell your cards, okay? Because they already have them, and then they're going to go back and rebuy your cards up because it's cheaper. Because you're buying them, and then it's going to re. They're going to turn around, and and all of a sudden, the cards that you're selling for five, ten. All different variations, especially Tom Brady's, Kyle Murray's, any of those superstars, Lamar Jackson, any of that stuff. They will send that into PSA. That Pulsar card will turn in from a $5 card you sold about two weeks ago. Will they'll somehow magically be able to get those cards uh, where everybody has to wait seven, eight months to get their cards back from PSA or whatever the time limit is now. Um, they're going to get them back quickly. You're going to see them on the internet. you see them on eBay. And they're going to take a $3 or $5 card that you sold. And they'll take it around and turn around the PSA 10 that thing. And sell it for $200. And people will buy it. See how that game works? They don't care about little kids collecting. They don't care about none of that. They don't care about any of the stuff that will keep the hobby going. What they do is, it is a stock market. I do agree with that. Cards are, are, are stock. You're actually, you know, if you're going to do that type of approach to it, that's what it is. So, you know, players do get hurt. Uh, there's a lot of that goes on, especially uh, the way they play. So, I collect for fun and my extra cards. <clears throat> I sell them on eBay so I can buy other cards to fill my set. As I said, I may do a pink one or whatever. So, what I'm saying is when you're selling your cards on eBay... Even though you see these cards for five, four dollars, seven dollars, or whatever, if you have the money, then buy them up and then put the put the correct price on them because these packs of cards are like thirty dollars. Okay, so how would you even? None of these cards are worth a dollar. I mean, you do a dollar a piece for these, and then no one's gonna want to pay for shipping or any of that. I mean, these are all right cards. You know, you'd have to put a whole set together of this stuff. Like you'd have to get like thirty of these cards. And then somebody will offer you two dollars for it, and they may want free shipping. Yeah, that's how they roll on there. So stay kind of stay away from that type of thing. If you can, you know, put ninety nine cents or a dollar on them, and then get them like that. If that's what you're trying to do, go right ahead. It isn't as easy as it seems, and there there is a lot that goes into doing that. So I'm just letting you know what is going on and your why. Some people are selling things cheap. The people that know that go that's going on are putting the right price on them because they know the people that are buying these cards are going to send them into PSA and they're going to turn around and make three hundred dollars. Like this guy is a badass player. He's one of the top rookies, you know, and he's behind Wentz. Yes, and uh, who knows? They may trade Wentz to Dallas. Who knows what's going on? I mean, who knows? Uh, quarterback situation in Dallas is really bad, and. There's a lot of other 
teams that are struggling with coaching issues and quarterback issues. So all these top players right now are, some of them are lucky and on good teams, and some of them are not on good teams, but they're excellent players. So and this is one of them. He's an excellent player, uh, Jonathan Taylor. He just, uh, you have a fellow that can throw for five or 6,000 yards, but just can't win games, you know? So uh, that's the problem when you have the Philip Rivers situation. That's why uh, <clears throat> that's why they picked up Herbert, Justin Herbert. So I like these cards. Let me know what you think. It's a little, little quick lip rip here. I'm going to go make some dinner for my girl, Ashley. She's been running around all day. Our little friend came over today, Ashley's brother. And um, actually, Ashley's brother came over. And he did a little video on Pokemon. And it was cool. I had a little Pokemon pail. Had a couple of them. And he doesn't have a little lunchbox pail. So we gave it to him. And he did awesome. And you should check the video out. I'll be able to uh, talk to Ashley and find out the link. And we'll sort it out. And then we'll do a video together, all of us. Me, Ashley, uh, Lil Connor, and jo uh, and Joshua. And all of us will open up some stuff. And we'll uh, do probably Pokemon or something. And have fun with that. So until next time, uh, please you know, take care of yourselves. And uh, know that uh, everything's going to be okay. You know it's kind of crazy time. So we're going to do this hobby. And, and kind of, you know, bring positivity back to things. And then um, I just ask to, you know, like and subscribe. And as I said, I am trying to get this laptop because the our laptop screen cracked, and I have no way of making a fair video to see who the winner is on my 300 sub sub contest. So I haven't forgot about that. We are going to sort that out. Ashley's going to go get a laptop. We're going to do the spin wheel, and we're going to do that and get that sorted out. And then our next giveaway, the other thing will be sorted out. So I appreciate everything. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And take care.